Principles of Accounting 1, Chapter 1, E11. We're looking at the relationship between the three financial statements, the income statement, statement of owner's equity, and the balance sheet. Keep in mind that the preparation of the three financial statements is important, the order in which they are prepared, because each statement requires something from the previous statement. For example, the income statement, we have to solve for net income. The net income is then used on the statement of owner's equity in order to solve for the ending balance of owner's equity. And then we use the ending balance of owner's equity to solve for the balance sheet. So we have here a series of amounts on the various, or various financial statements, and we have to solve for A through F. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at which letters we can actually solve for. So the first one that stands out is letter C. The statement of owner's equity is beginning balance plus net income, less withdrawals equals ending balance. So we can use that equation to solve for C. So what it would be would be 29,000 plus C minus 2,000 equals 30,000. So if we rearrange that equation using simple algebra and solve for C, we come up with net income of being $3,000. And since we are understanding and learning the relationship between the three financial statements, we know that the income statement on the statement of owner's equity is the same as the or I'm sorry, that the net income on the statement of owner's equity is the same as the net income on the income statement. So it would only make sense that B is also $3,000. So then if we look at the income statement, we now have revenues and net income. And the equation for the income statement is revenues minus expenses equals net income. So now we can also solve for A. 11,100 in revenues minus our A for expenses equals $3,000 of net income. If we rearrange the equation, we can solve for A and get a total expenses of $8,100. Now, if we move down to the bottom of the screen, our balance sheet, those are our three remaining letters, D, E, and F. Keeping in mind that the balance sheet represents assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity, we may have enough information to solve for our owner's equity. Also keeping in mind that the ending balance of our statement of owner's equity is carried down to the balance sheet. So the $30,000 for our ending balance of statement of owner's equity is the same amount that belongs on E, $30,000. So we now have total liabilities and owner's equity. And remember that the accounting equation is assets equal total liabilities plus owner's equity. So if we take our 16,000 of total liabilities plus our 30,000 of owner's equity, we come up with total liabilities and owner's equity of 46,000. And again, since our accounting equation, total assets equals total liabilities plus owner's equity, D should equal the same amount in F, $46,000. So using and understanding the relationships between the three financial statements and the importance of preparing them in order has allowed us to solve for A through F for the missing numbers on each of the financial statements.